broadcasting icon Tony Blackburn took to Twitter today to hit out at the actions of Vladimir Putin and the Russian military after Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that Russia had cruelly bombed a blood bank and that multiple people have been killed in the explosion. Using his large platform to speak out about the abominable incident, the former BBC Radio 1 DJ condemned the latest of many atrocities carried out by Russia in its ongoing war with Ukraine. Unbelievable Russia bombing a blood transfusion center in Ukrainian, he told his 115,000 followers. How low can you go in this pointless war killing hundreds of innocent people and causing destruction and misery? He asked. I don't think anyone wants it except the mad Putin and his cronies, the I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Star added. BBC Radio 2's Joe Wiley and Tony Blackburn speak out as station loses listeners, latest, I fail to understand how this can happen in this day and age, he lamented. So sad. Sick, well said and so right, unbelievable, Linda agreed, while Sue added, totally agree Tony, words fail me at the injustice and how barbaric it all is. Absolutely disgusting Tony. Putin is a madman and a murderer innocent people killed very sad, Dave agreed. Sick, don't miss. Tony Blackburn nearly knocked down on crossing outside BBC Studios, Insight, Tony Blackburn shares heartbreak over pointless and cruel Nottingham attack. News, Tony Blackburn shares recovery update after taking break from BBC Radio 2, latest, several people have been killed and more have been injured after Russian forces bombed a blood bank in Ukraine, President Zelensky has claimed. A Russian-guided aerial bomb reportedly hit the transfusion center in the town of Kupiansk in the eastern Kharkiv region late on Saturday. While the report has not yet been independently verified, Zelensky told his Telegram channel there are dead and wounded and that rescue workers were extinguishing a fire at the scene of what he described as a war crime. Russia has denied deliberately targeting civilians as part of their full-scale invasion, but thousands have died in the war that has destroyed whole cities. Russia's invasion of Ukraine began last year on February 24, causing widespread outrage around the world. Follow Express US social media accounts here on Facebook. com slash Express Us News and at Express Us News.